Korean street toast or gilgori toast is a popular street food breakfast in Korea. This Korean sandwich is known for its unique salty and sweet combination that will make your mouth water. Today, I'm going to be trying to recreate Isaac Toast, a toast chain created in 2016 with over 700 retail stores in South Korea. Today, we're going to be making something called Isaac Street Toast. I've seen it in a lot of videos and it looks really good. When I went to Korea, I saw it, but I wasn't able to try it. So I want to try it. So today we're going to make it. So we have hella ingredients and hella tools and we're going to try making it today. First, we will be making the, the kiwi sauce, which is a very important part of the sandwich, I believe. It gives it a little sweetness to it. Uh, first, we're going to blend it in here. So we'll put everything into here. All right, first we're gonna get this one kiwi and peel it and cut it into small pieces. I'm gonna do the method. All I had was a golden kiwi, so. Damn, the skin is so thin for this. <laughs> um, kinda worked out. There's one half. Jesus. <laughs> so what happens when you get a really good, soft, sweet kiwi and it just does not work at all. As we'll cut it. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna blend it anyways. Put that in to here. Spill the little. Now we need a little pineapple, it says, but it's optional and I don't have pineapple, so we're not doing that. We need one eighth of a medium sized onion. That should be. How much is an eighth? Yeah. That. And then cut it into small pieces. They don't need to be that crazy. Anyways. Next, we'll have four tablespoons of mayo, which I got cupy mayo, cause you know, Asian, it's new. I'm just gonna guess four tablespoons. There. <laughs> And then, three tablespoons of honey. I'll also guess this. I don't want to use a tablespoon for that. Right. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. We should got our salt here. There. <laughs> I forgot how salty salt is. Anyways, that's our sauce. And then now we just need to blend it. And it's supposed to make eight to 10 sandwiches. Oh. There you go. That's our sauce. I'm gonna leave it and put it in a bowl for me now. Let me try it actually. That's good. There you go. And we'll leave that to the side for later. Okay, now we will do our eggs. Here is one egg. <laughs> and we beat egg with a pinch of salt and pepper. Put a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And then we'll beat it. Okay, that seems good now. Doesn't need to be too crazy, I think. And then we need a little bit of sweet corn. This is what I got, canned corn, so I'll do that. Now I'll open this real quick. It's not working. No. Damn the cheese. Oh, damn, yeah, just like, everywhere. Well, I guess we'll just add like a spoonful of corn into the eggs. Oh. There you go. Let me have some corn for myself. Mm. Okay, and then we just mix that a little bit. There you go. Egg. Uh, now we just need to shred some cabbage. What I have here is a half of a cabbage. And here is a tool for shredding the cabbage. Very cool. Um, 
I'm just gonna show them to the floor. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. So then it's not like really thick, because I think if you just slice it by hand, you can get pretty thick. We'll just do a handful. I think that's more than enough. Okay, and the last thing we, or one of, not the last thing, so a bunch of more that we still need, but this is sweet, or it's supposed to be pickles. I decided to just buy it from the Korean store. That's what it is. Pickled cucumber. I think it's supposed to taste like the Korean, oh shoot. The pickle just fell everywhere, no. Oh. Mmm, okay, it tastes like the pickles from the, like, pizza places in Korea. It has like a very, it's like a little sweet. It's a very distinct taste. I like it, but it's not your regular pickle. Let's just try one then. Mmm, that was good. Last but not, or, okay, there's still a lot more of ingredients, but these we can just prepare as we go. It's cheese. It's American cheese. I could only find the those intolerant American cheese at this store. So that's what I got. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, all we need is one slice. There you go. One slice of American cheese. We have ham, square ham to fit Toast. And all we need is one for that too. Since we're only making one right now, but here's our ham. Oh, it got. It's fine. We'll just use it. And then last but not least is our toast. Our bread, actual toast. I got Korean bread from the Korean store. Korean bread from the Korean store. So it's different. It's softer. It's um, fluffier, and it's a little sweet, which is a nice touch. So we'll put that there for now. I'm spilling crumbs everywhere as we speak. And now we will get to the actual cooking parts. We will need to do this in batches just because I don't have like a huge griddle that I think they usually do this on. So let's obtain fuel. Wow. <laughs> First of all, I think we can cook our ham because that's pretty easy. A low heat for now and then we got our stick of butter which we're gonna use to cook everything i was thinking maybe we could just use vegetable oil instead but we got to stick true to the recipe so um let's butter this up a little bit get our ham and it should have waited a little longer it's starting to sizzle I don't think we need to cook it for that long. Because ham. <laughs> That's very thin too. Damn, look at that. <laughs> Want a little color and that's about it. Let's flip it. Ooh. I haven't had ham in a while just because it's kind of strong. That's good on the ham, I think. We'll set that aside for now. I think this is a pretty good size for our egg, just because it's a square. Uh, not exactly a square, more like a rectangle. But we can try to fit it into a square. There's a corn and everything. We'll just scrape it so it stays a square. I forgot to add new butter. Not gonna lie, I should have done that. Hopefully it doesn't stick. I don't think it'll stick. Yeah, it's a non-stick pan anyways. And then when we flip it, we'll put the cheese on it so it'll melt no, better. We can flip it. Yeah. That's good. It's a nice square. We'll put our mac and cheese in the middle. Mmm, I'm excited, man. It'll melt on its own as we set it aside. There you go. Now onto the final assembly. We just need to toast our buns. So let's butter it up again. Damn, it's hot. We'll toast one bread first. <laughs> what happens when you don't have a huge grill, which is probably way better for this, but what can we do? We will not want a nice golden brown color. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. I think that's good enough. Um, it's kind of toasting a lot, actually. We'll set that aside for now. 
on the already toasted one, we can just add the delicious sauce. Let's get this and put a lot of it on. I think you put a lot. Oh, shoot. That's good. All right, and now we can assemble it, honestly. So, what we do, we'll just do on here. Um, Cause it's cooling down anyways. Put the sauce on this toast too. A lot of it. We're gonna put our egg with our cheese on top. Wow, look, it fits perfectly. And then our delicious ham. Then the cabbage we shredded up. That's beautifully thinly shredded. Wow. <laughs> A lot of it too. I think Isaac puts a lot from what I've seen. Then we just finished the sandwich. Wow. Actually, I might put a little more cabbage in there too. Wow. Okay, let's move it over to see it better. Wow, look at that. Damn. That's the good stuff, bro. Usually I would cut it diagonally, but I'm gonna do this in half because I know that's how they do it in Korea or in Isaac's at least. Jeez. And then just look at that. Damn. That's hot. <laughs> Let's put it on top. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm actually super excited. Mmm, it's so good. Wow, the sweetness of like the kiwi sauce is really good and this it works really well. And a lot of the cabbage makes it like nice and fresh. <gasps> I forgot something. I'm an idiot. I forgot the pickle, which is supposed to go after the cheese. It's still good without it, but I think it'll add a lot. Let's add the pickle. Yeah, and my already eaten, put some pickles there, and cover it back up real quick. <laughs> like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Damn, you can see, that looks better honestly. Ah, that's annoying. Let's try it with the pickle then. Mmm, the pickle is so good too. It adds another layer to it. Yeah, the butter, like the egg and the cheese all make it so like smooth too. <laughs> mm, I'm so glad I did this. I really, I really want to go back. When I go back to Korea, I really want to try the Isaac's stove. Cause this is really good. Anyways, I'm gonna finish the rest of the sandwich, the other half, real quick. But thanks for going on this journey with me. You guys should try this at home too, it's really good. Or if you go to Korea and go, um, you should try Isaac's Toast as well. Anyways, thank you Isaac's Toast for existing and thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.